This video will show how to use Grove sensors with the Raspberry Pi and Node-RED. The Grove sensors use a standard uh, wiring interface and there's over 40 of these available. They are very low cost and they're great for educational or IoT development. Here we've got an LED module and a rotary encoder and this is what the cabling looks like. And it just plugs right into the board. So here we've got our Raspberry Pi and we just mount the Grove Pi right to it. The problem is how to mount these. I uh, just 3D printed uh, a carrier and it works really well with the WAGO 288 series PCB mount. I can just uh, attach that in there and um, now you can screw it to a DIN rail. These are the part numbers I used. So we'll go ahead and mount this all up. The uh, analogs are on the right hand side and digitals are along the top and I2C are the ones on the left side. So we need to install the developer kit for Grove Pi. We just have to do a couple command lines uh, on the Pi once you SSH in. And there's an install script that when you run it goes and uh, installs all the dependencies. And then it'll reboot the Pi. So then we can go into uh, Node-RED and we need to grab the, the Node-RED library for Grove Pi. So here you can see the command line for NPN. So we'll just copy that. We'll go back into our .node-red hidden folder and issue that npm install command. And that will grab the, the palette uh, that we need for interacting with those um, sensors that we'd have. So we'll just uh, do a node-red start and then we can go to our web browser and navigate to uh, the IP address of the Raspberry Pi. So this is a uh, digital sensor that we're going to map to the board and it's a temperature and humidity sensor and we've got that mounted to digital 2 and we'll just give it a name, we'll call it temp humidity and we'll drop in a debug window and connect that up so we can monitor the payload. Once you deploy that in the sidebar, if you go to the debug tab, you will see uh, the topics. There's a temperature, humidity, and heat index topic. So if I put my finger on the probe, you'll see the temperature will slowly start to climb from the ambient temperature going up. So now we'll wire the button module to the LED output module. So those are digital outputs three and four and we'll hold off testing those for a second. Uh, we'll go ahead and drop in the two analogs that we have. Analog zero, which is a sound sensor, and we'll wire that to a debug. And then we have a luminance sensor on analog one. So if I deploy that and I push the button, you can see the LED turns on because they're wired together in node red. And then if I put my finger over the light uh, sensor, you can see the uh, value changes in the payload. And if I switch over to the debug on the sound and I just tap the sensor, you can see the, the signal changing there. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.